ఆ దీపా దాస్ మంచి ఇన్ఛార్జ్ ఆఫ్ తెలంగాణ కాంగ్రెస్ పార్టీ డూయింగ్ ఇన్ హైదరాబాద్ ఐ యూ నాట్ టేకింగ్ ద ఇష్యూస్ గోయింగ్ ఆన్ ఇన్ తెలంగాణ టు హైకమాండ్ టు యువర్ హైకమాండ్ టు యువర్ లీడర్షిప్ వాట్ యూఆర్ డూయింగ్ ఇయర్ యూ వాంట్ మీట్ ఓన్లీ విఐపీస్ అండ్ రిచ్ పీపుల్ హు ఆర్ దేర్ ఇన్ తెలంగాణ డోంట్ యూ వాంట్ టు సీ వాట్ ద థింగ్స్ హ్యాపనింగ్ అరౌండ్ తెలంగాణ అగేన్స్ట్ అన్ ఎంప్లాయీస్ అన్ ఎంప్లాయీస్ అగేన్స్ట్ దస్పిరెంట్స్ ఆఫ్ గ్రూప్ వన్ అగేన్స్ట్ ఎస్సీ ఎస్టీ బీసీ మైనార్టీ స్టూడెంట్స్ అగేన్స్ట్ ట్వంటీ వన్ ట్వంటీ నైన్ జీవో యూ నో బెటర్ అండ్ ఆల్ ద లీడర్షిప్ ఆఫ్ కాంగ్రెస్ పార్టీ నోస్ బెటర్ ఓన్లీ బికాస్ ఆఫ్ దిస్ అన్ఎంప్లాయ్ మెన్ యూత్ హూ హ్యావ్ అండర్ టేకెన్ బస్ యాత్ర హూ వెంట్ ఆల్ అరౌండ్ నియర్లీ సిక్స్టీ టు సెవెంటీ అసెంబ్లీస్ ద క్యాన్ వెల్ట్ ఫర్ కాంగ్రెస్ పార్టీ ఆల్ ద పీపుల్ హూ ఆర్ స్టాండింగ్ ఇన్ దిస్ ఫోటో యూ క్యాన్ సి ది జనార్దన్ చందర్ నరసింహ and all the people you can see that did not have proper shelter proper food proper traveling facilities even though they campaigned from congress party for the sake of the future for the sake of the telangana believing the words of the promises of rahul gandhi and priyanka gandhi they visited ashoknagar chikarpalli libraries they had meeting with unemployed youth and aspirants they promised that as we as they come to power they will fill all the vacant post but till now till now that do no review meeting has held department wise and till now you don't know what are the vacancies there in the departments till now you have not removed the retirement employees who are working on contract basis after taking the data of them the people since last 3 4 months including jenko who hostel wardens officers uh gurukul teachers 49 46 jivo you have cheated each and every employment group each and employ uh, unemployed who were, who are aspirants of that field every one including jenko every one you have cheated rahul gandhi ji is carrying the constitution of india in his hand that he will protect the constitution that he want to protect the rights of sc st bc minorities along with the other communities but here in telangana where congress party is in rule here they are cheating the sc st bc minorities with jo29 where the unemployed and aspirants and the people belongs to sc st bc minority community communities they approach the supreme court monday they are going to take the case in the supreme court now whole nation is watching what is the rahul gandhi priyanka gandhi are doing what they did in telangana they speak them something they promises or something after coming to power they won't see what is the state government doing they re- don't review anything just they will appointed in charge they don't know what the in charge is doing here nothing she is doing here 34 years i have given my service without any returns to the congress party today i am feeling shame because of your activities he where the congress party is ruling there the scst bc aspirants unemployed they approached the supreme court saying that we have been cheated by telangana congress government the telangana congress government has cheated us by jo29 there is no social engineering in telangana they are simply they are catching our throats and they are killing us they are encouraging the suicides they are encouraging the revolutions which is not good for the society for the upcoming days i believe in the congress party ideology but not the activities with the congress party is doing now it is shame on the telangana leadership that you have fa- fa- failed to fulfill the rights of sc st bc minority students and also employed uh, unemployed and also group one aspirants you have crushed the rights of sc st bc minority students today they kicked you they kicked the government of telangana congress party they approached the supreme court whether they win in supreme court or not it is different but the approach is failure for your on your part really i am grieving a lot since last 3 months i am observing what the thing is going on in telangana the person who he is in phone tapping he was a the director general of police while the telephone tapping is uh, scam is going on in telangana mr mahendra reddy nobody is concerned with the academic uh, uh, year that person is appointed as a tgps chairman since the formation of telangana since 2016 the employees are 
unemployed and aspirants are often they have been stabbed by the governments. It may be BRS or Congress or anything. A different government is going on here. It is a syndicate government where no opposition will talk beyond of the crushed people. The stamp, they have been stamped. No one will talk about uh, uh, in behalf of them. They are asking for the rights. They are asking for to abolish 229. They are asking to uh, take the Telugu academic books into the consideration where, where they are preparing for the exam since last five to six years. Now we have given the, the TGPS, the useless TG, TGPS has given a affidavit to high, Honorable High Court that they are not considering tel Telugu academy. Then what should be they prepare? Where should they go? Before one month of the exam, you want to relieve that Tel uh, Telugu academy is uh, not, uh, they are not taking into the consideration where, what do they study? Where should they go? These are the things they are asking. In prelims, the qualified are, the qualified are 31,000 31, according to TGPSC. But the Chief Secretary has stated that 34,000 are right, going to write the exam. From where the 3,000 excess qualified students are coming. When Bhatti Vikramarka was the opposition leader, that useless fellow has spoken in assembly, that after a very long time, the two, after nearly 10 years, the group 1 advertisement has come. The notification has come. So the government has to give an opportunity in the ratio of 1 is to 100. Say that use fellow, useless fellow is now, that opposition, uh, Bhatti Vikrama is now, he is the deputy chief minister. He don't want to stand on his word. They promised for 1 is to 100, but they neglected that they are following 1 is to 50. It is shame on the Congress party government of Telangana. I am not blaming Congress party. I am not blaming the ideology of Congress party. I am blaming the leadership which they have promised for the youth of Telangana, for the welfare of Telangana. Here every year in Telangana out of 4 crores of population, not even a single man is happy other than the families of ministers and bureaucrats. Everyone is sabotaged in Telangana. The real congressman is sabotaged in Telangana. The people who are carrying the ideology of Congress party. Here only there are two types of people. One, those who are snatching the thefts and the thieves. And other, that is one party, other party is that there one who have been stolen. I have been stolen. Now the youth, they don't have any other way. If they, they, they raise their voice. Now see the Ashok, Ashok Nagar, you go to Ashok Nagar. Deepadash Munshi, the in charge of Telangana Congress Party, you come to Ashok Nagar. Before election, you, have, you all came here. Mr. Mahesh Kumar Gaur, you come to Ashok Nagar. What the thing is happening, an undemocratic situation is there in Ashoknagar. Police people are in shorts and banyans, they are wearing in civil dresses. They want to catch hold of the people. Whoever questions there, whoever protests, whoever raises their voice against the injustice done by the Congress government in Telangana. Against the Musi Reddy of Telangana. Against the Mosi Reddy uh, ruler in Telangana. You take my word to the Honorable High Command. What is the thing happening? Now Kapil Sibal has came to know that you are working against the constitution of India in Telangana. Because he is the advocate of the downtrodden SCSTBC minority group 1 aspirants. 
tomorrow whole nation will come to know on monday that rahul gandhi ji is catching his constitution book in his hand he is big he is addressing big big gathering gatherings in different states of india they they are they, they are the redeemers of the downtrodden st st bc adivasis just it is only in their speech not in their activities not in their activities the leaders priyanka gandhi ji rahul gandhi ji kc venugopal have visited the educational institutes coaching centers libraries wherever the youth gather the unemployed gather they promise them they have given their promise that they will give fill all the vacancy po po uh, posts and that they that they also promise that whoever in 2022 the pay, paper leaked people will be punished nothing is happened the same officer who was there now he is appointed as commissioner of police of hyderabad the honest officer who as soon as congress party came into power after a 10 long decades he was in non focal post he is a gentleman he was he is removed from uh, city kotakoda sinvas reddy city as removed from uh, city commissioner only to close the case of phone tapping mr rahul gandhi try to understand what the thing happening in telangana with great pain and agony i am bringing this issues to your notice here the congress government is crushing the rights of the people the rights of the drowned tode here earlier there is a very good name for congress party because indra ji has given the congress party has given the name houses on the name of indra awas yojana you have distributed the lands for the poorless now two things are happening in especially in telangana on the name of the beautification the people who have given the pattas the people who have built up the houses now the they pray, same houses have been demolished by congress party same the lands are pulling by the congress party congress government in telangana you have to answer answer honorable leaders you have to come to telangana you have to see the situation what is going on here here you have no leadership of telangana no leadership either whoever it may be i am ready to answer the question no one has fought against the brs government anti party activity anti people activities we are the people who fought uh, fought against them we are the people who filed case against the brs government even today also we are saying the same thing because whoever they are in telangana they are they uh, they, 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 they don't have any accountability we are not uh, we are we are not saying that bjp is good or uh, brs is good everyone has selling on the same board that is why the youth of telangana the people of telangana the scst bc minorities of telangana they all believed you they voted for congress party long hundreds of kilometers they had traveled they have cam campaigned the people who were monitoring the bus yatra they did not give proper food they have they have kept all the money in their pockets they did not took out they brought damaged buses in the damaged buses without taking proper food without having proper shelter they have traveled the telangana because all, already so many of their friends they lost you take bora sunil prabalika and so many other people have committed suicide because of the unemployment problem 
they have digested all the things since last especially these last 3 days we have never seen such a situation earlier i was under house arrest because we are questioning the government to do justice to the unemployed youth to do justice to the dsc aspirants to do justice you have kept in manifesto page number 33 that you are going to do mega dsc but you have given only 10500 posts where earlier out of that 6000 posts are already notified by earlier government so he have given only 5000 posts gurukula post already 3000 posts are still vacant because of your uh, to luck uh, type of uh, appointments already so many other posts are vacant today till now there no review meeting have been done but the thing with the, which is not there in the manifesto that is beautification of musi musi they want to do that because 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 it is a project of 150000 crores where they will get a huge amount of huge amount of commissions they, they are concentrating on them and you people we want to be silent on this issue you want to want to fulfill the promises given in the manifesto you don't want to fulfill the promises given in manifesto but you want the beautification of musi which is not there in the manifesto because it is the construction of 150000 crores and where you will get a huge money same thing has been done with the earlier government where honorable leader rahul gandhi has visited merigata the kaleshwaram was not in their manifesto but still they want to build that kaleshwaram with the amount of 150000 crores because they got very bull back very bull, bull commission which your congress party leaders to have the commission that's why they won't take the name of the contractor mega krishna reddy because he is the person who filled this people's pockets why i am speaking all these things in tel english means all these days i was speaking in tel uh, telugu because i i had a belief that these things will reach you to uh, through your in charge dipadas munshi she is she i i i treated her like my sister but after she became in charge now she just became a spoon in telangana just a spoon just a spoon of telangana congress party nothing everything she is hiding that's why i am uh, many of our people many of my friends may not uh, understand but i want the thing this to acknowledge you to bring to your notice to bring to your knowledge the things which are happening this undemocratic things going on in telangana against the constitution so our friends today they are in delhi mr indra arun uh, arjun and other friends in was people are there i think monday also they will be there if congress party has any sympathy towards the youth and the accountability on the promises you call them have a negotiations and try to do justice to the youth and aspirants of group 1